Well, the journey has been fun, but I believe we are arriving at Yuba soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 103 and 104 of our One Piece watch for the day. Again, then the last one was very wholesome. We unfortunately saw the departure of Ace, saying that he would see Luffy one day again soon, and that they would be top pirates by then. And a very wholesome moment with Vivi, where she kind of uh, understood a little bit more about the relationship between all of Luffy's crew, and kind of attributed that to Alabasta, and maybe a lesson she needed to learn. We're gonna hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's hop right into it. Surely we get there this episode, right? She said they were close. Yes. Yeah, does it say anything? Oh, it doesn't even say anything? What if it tore? Oh, or what if he lost it? Or if it got eaten by lashes? Oh, nice. Actually true. Clutch Nami once again. Oh, that was a very nice stitching job. Oh my gosh. He keeps his hat in one million percent no matter what. Yeah. Surely there's some deeper meaning or something. <gasps> Let's go. Finally, dude, we're out of the goddamn desert. This accursed place. Oh, shoot. Dude, what is this thing? It's like a whole creature? 150 billions. Those are the like, Baroque Works underlings. <gasps> Mr. Two. What oh, Mr. One? Where even is he? Oh, shoot. It's a whole meeting. Oh, shoot. Are we finally going to get to see Mr. One? Oh, wait. They did mention her. Like Miss Christmas? Yes. Oh, she's with Mr. Four. Oh my gosh, she's a unit. She she seems a little exhausting, I'm gonna be honest. Miss Merry Christmas and Mr. Four. Yeah, they were mentioned, I think by Mr. Two. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, dude, she is a little exhausting. Kind of rude, too. Gosh. She's like overly hyper, and he's like very like he's like moving slow and he like he's like talking slow. Polar opposites. Oh, there's Mr. Two! We already got a very, uh, a very in-depth, uh, introduction to Mr. Two. And, like, how he works, too. Love and mascara. Mascara! <laughs> they look so happy to be there. They're walking so slowly. I like how excited his crew is to be here, though. It's wholesome. Oh, there they are. Bang Paula take no prisoners. Octopus parfait? That's so fancy. Wait, what? Wait, so who is with Mr. Two? Who's his, like, counterpart? Yeah, dude, where's Mr. One? He's never even met Mr. One? No! He's back! Oh, no, they're, like, after him, too. And they were three hours early. Oh, shoot. Is that Mr. One? That ain't Crocodile. <laughs> this dynamic, bro. What is this guy dragging? Bodies? Oh, oh it's... Yeah, it's Mr. Two's guys. Oh, did he just beat them up because they were there? It is Mr. One. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, his voice too. Oh my gosh. I do not know if you want to smoke with Mr. One. Dude is a mammoth. Miss Double Finger. Is she his counterpart? So where's Mr. Two's? Are these the only agents called here? Oh. oh my god, what an outfit change. Jesus. Well, they've never even met Crocodile. I guess he's kept his identity of, like a hell of a secret. Okay, so I am guessing that it is Mr. One's counterpart. God dang, dude. Is that them headed to see Crocodile? Rain base. Oh, it's a turtle. Oh, it's an alright. Nice. Turtle smoking a cigar. This double finger. This double finger kind of fine. I'm going to be honest. God, dude, Crocodile's voice is so intimidating, too. New billions are just new, like, new disposable troops they can throw away. I like how meticulous that Crocodile seems. Like, he just works very slowly, but very efficiently. Did they made it? So where is, where is the city he's in? Oh, I see it's so close, yet still kind of far. Hmm? Did he attack it? Because they're not in Yuba. I don't think. Crocodile? It didn't seem like it. 
Wait, Yuma looks like rolled, like run down. Okay, this has to be Crocodile's doing. Like he just sends out these sandstorms. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like he can just use them on like a massive scale. Dang, dude. Yeah, it's the exact same. Wait, so where do they go? They have to be so far. Oh no. Also, then where is like, where's her father and everybody? <laughs> a bit? Wait, do I recognize him? She has to keep her eyes on a secret. Yeah, he's part of the kingdom, not the rebels. I think she was saying that just in case he was part of the rebel army. Yeah, he definitely controls the sandstorms to an extent. That's why they said, like, pirates don't settle down, but he has such an advantage here. I'm guessing with his power, he might as well take over and accumulate wealth and power. Hmm, that's all the way back where uh that is literally complete opposite of the desert and they had been in nanohana right yeah 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 because chopper saw the rebel army now what now <gasps> just make it like so subtle luffy subtle some siblings in the kingdom still. Awesome way. Should I recognize him? Toto? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it was his. Da oh my gosh. Dang. And he's the last one here. The city he built fell. Oh my gosh. He was what's his name's dad, right? And he still has faith. Oh. He's like begging for reassurance that he hasn't been on the wrong side this whole time. Oh no. Why did it cut to that car? Like it's near. It's not a turtle, is it? Three years. That's not the turtle. Oh yeah, we've seen that the, the rebellion isn't like 100% going well. Mm. That's how passionate they feel about it. There's only so much they can do from here. They have to know, figure out where to go next. Oh, was it cutting the Katarina? No. And this is the leader that we saw when Chopper accidentally like got stowed away and then met at, uh, Lashes. It's the most she can do right now is offer him just any sense of reassurance. Luffy and them know like she, she's absolutely petrified, but she's doing like her job as royalty to reassure her people, even if she has been gone for a while. Yeah, and there's the rebellion leader. Not leader, but I think. Because Crocodile isn't leading the rebellion. That is why this car. So that kid, I, I keep blanking on his name. Why did he end up being the one leading this? I don't understand. And his father, is it his father? Is the one like last left alone there. It had to have gone so poorly, man. Koza, like why? Was he just brainwashed? Oh, this is the, the rebellion strike. And he seems kind of over it too. For us. Mm. Well, of course they see themselves in the right, but I still under, don't understand why this was necessary in the first place, especially if he like he was there when like Yuba was built and a lot of this, this kingdom hadn't had just begun. So I think we're missing a lot of backstory in terms of why it's occurring this way. Right, either way, episode 104, let's get it. My fellows, no shot. Why is he so excited to actually sleep in a bed? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Don't have Chopper caught in the crossfire! Oh my god, that is shameless. <laughs> he looks so like pillows back and forth. I love the dynamic Chopper uh, Chopper brings to the crew so much, man. He's just a little ball of chaos. But like, he's almost one of the more grown up out of all of them. More than Usopp and Sanji, for sure, to an extent. Sometimes Luffy, too, probably. And maybe Zoro in some instances. <laughs> Wow, he's still just adamant about keeping... 
Dang, dude. That's so sad. He's all alone. <laughs> He's like a dog, bro. One track mind, buddy. You gotta figure it out. <laughs> all in one ear, out the other. What has he got himself into? He's efficient. And he just fell asleep. Aw, finally they all get the rest they so needed. Aw, he's so nice. What happened to your boy, bro? Why he turned so evil? Dude, this place looks like Vegas on crack. So this is where Crocodile actually is. Dude, she's so fine for no reason. Yeah, they all have like power ego structures. This all Sunday still confuses me why she didn't just stop them when she got to their ship. Or just casino. Oh, it is kind of like Vegas. She is. Oh my gosh, dude. Here he comes. Oh, shoot. Utopia. Oh, shoot. I'm excited to kind of like learn more about what he's actually planning. Oh, I guess that's why he's instantly recognizable to them. Yeah, a warlord. But that's why he has to keep this secret so it doesn't connect to that. God, dude, his face. It's so, oh, it's so intimidating. Good question. He'll probably explain. Not money or power. He doesn't he already have a sort of military might under the Baroque works? What was that? Is, why does the crocodile sound like that? Steal the country? What kind of heist is this? Okay, Mr. One's voice is definitely recognizable. I don't know who he is, though. Oh. Huh? Oh. oh, does he want to use the rebels to tear it apart? Oh, they'll come right to him. Dang, dude. I mean, he's built himself up to be the hero either way. Huh. And we don't know any of their plans because they burnt them all. Okay, so he gave us a little bit of a tease. He's just a little bit of... Wait, is that Miss... Oh, oh, hey, brother, listen, I hope you came prepared because this is a bold move. He has people after him. Doesn't he know that? That's why he was hiding when they had their meeting. He really wants a part of it. <laughs> Who let you in? He wants to hear this out. I did not miss him at all. He just clung, clung onto the backside. Ah, hands and knees. I'm shocked that he didn't just give up on this and take another life somewhere else in the world. He really is about the broke works. Gotta hand it to him. Just self-reporting right now. Why would you say that? And now he knows. Uh, that throws a wrench into his plans, I'm guessing, since Vivi's alive. Straw hats are one thing, but Vivi... Now he knows. I still can't believe Sanji got away with that, dude. He was stumbling through it. Mm -hmm. And she's she's listening to all this knowing that she let them go, too. And I'm assuming he doesn't know. Usopp's the first one he mentioned. Yeah, why this is such a big deal. If their plan has gone so smoothly the whole time. Why is it such a big deal that both Vivi and they, like the Straw Hat Pirates are alive? I'm guessing, like I said, it's more about Vivi. And now he realizes that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Saved all of them. Even Chopper. Crocodile looks so disappointed. I love his voice, dude. It's so cool. He's so disappointed in himself. Was he gonna like try and put up like wanted posters and stuff? Hey, there's already bounty posters, man. <laughs> Oh, God. You came back here, bro. Or he'll send Mr. Three out after them as, like, a chance to redeem himself. Dang. Or he will literally just murder him right here. I would not be shocked. Oh. Uh, it's his power. 
<laughs> from SpongeBob in that one episode of Sandy's Dome. <laughs> oh, no shot. Is he feeding him to the... No. Oh my... Dude, that thing is enormous. Why am I almost more scared of that than Crocodile? Bro. There's a... Yeah, there's a giant spot for him to come out of. It's called a banana gator. 07, rip Mr. 3. Yeah, true. How important is it that Vivi gets there? Oh, her relationship with Koza. She could stop the... Oh. Mm. And maybe they won't lead a strike against the people. They already have people on the inside. Mm. So her relationship with Kozu is what... If he's in that one town all the way across, that's very far, man. They don't want her getting anywhere near him. I like how Crocodile instantly knows what would be the downfall. You can tell he's thought this through a million times and sees every possible outcome. They all have their separate jobs, too. He looks so tired all the time. He either looks mad or tired. Now it's going to be a mystery of, like, what all of them are going to be up to. What a gift. Dude. Dude. Did he did that just for him? He's so nice. At least Luffy was like really respectful. He's like, thank you. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. God, dude, the trek back across begins again. What? Brother. Also, he kind of looks like Kadu with the little barrel around him. It's very cute. They got to go all the way back, man. Dude, what's his deal? I know there's a deeper meaning to this, but... Yes, we do know. You have to get back first. Is he saying they need to go, like, directly to the source? Yep. He comes to a conclusion and just, like, just banks on it. It's inevitable that people die. What? What is he talking about? She has a lot of like strings pulled right now. Dang. I mean true, but dang. Do you realize it's like a reality she has to face before they get back? She knows people are dying, but she's trying to prevent any. Oh my gosh. What? That crocodile needs to be taken down. Oh, it was meeting him that did this to him. What? Like, accepting that people will die? Apparently, he's thought of something. Was she trying to prevent them from finding conflict because she cares about them too? You can cry those kinds of tears. Luffy would make a very unorthodox but effective therapist. I'm gonna be honest. Where's Crocodile? Yeah, I guess he just realized she's kind of been beating around the bush and that's that's just what has to happen. And once again, Luffy gets uh, sort of raw emotions out of yet another individual in this show. I'm so glad we finally got a real inside look into Crocodile's operation finally, because up until now, it's just been kind of teasing things and it still did show us some without giving away his whole hand. But now we have a more general idea this that he's not doing this for money or power, but I guess uh, some form of power, military power. I'm guessing forming this utopia under the guise that he could be the hero that brings the rebels and the regular, the, like just the town folk and the rest of the kingdom together and he's the one that can unite them and then he would just kind of absorb all of that and however many people that need to die for that to happen that's what he's working on now the real question about all of this is going to be you know all of the baroque works or at least the final agents missions throughout it all because i'm sure they're just gonna pop up one by one and they're just gonna be more and more obstacles that our crew has to get to before they can get to crocodile but god dang dude he is quite the intimidating villain i'm really glad he didn't let mr three live because it would have just shown a sign of weakness and he's been known to not be a guy that messes around up until now he took what he needed out of mr three didn't kill him right away realized he had no more use to him and he was like bye but guys that's been it for episodes 103 and 104 of our one piece watch through do drop a sub if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace